If YouTube detects a copyright match on your content, it will alert you before you even publish the video. Now, isn't that just a brilliant idea? Here's an annoying question for you. Have YouTube ever hit you with the copyright claim Smackdown on one of your videos after it's gone live? If yes, share your horror stories in the comments below. Hello, I'm Rob, welcome back to vidIQ, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how this is never, ever going to happen again. Yes! You should be used to the YouTube upload process by now. Your internet speed determines how fast the video uploads, and the video processing is usually pretty much done a few minutes later. But what you should now start to see are multiple further checks that YouTube automatically conducts on your videos and you can view what those checks are from this step in the upload process. That's right folks, YouTube will now automatically check whether your video contains copyrighted content and it will even tell you how long it's going to take. If YouTube pings a copyright match, it will let you know before you even have a chance to publish your video. Now, isn't that just a brilliant idea? From this same screen, you can view the impact this copyright claim has had on your channel. In pretty much all circumstances, a copyright claim doesn't impact the channel in terms of strikes. However, the video may be blocked in some countries and will almost certainly not be monetized, at least for you anyway. The copyright holder, at least in YouTube's current setup, is well within their rights to monetize this video for their financial gain. That's the price of using someone else's content, to be honest. I would just be thankful at this point that it's not a copyright strike, which is a lot more serious. Now, if you decide that you want to continue uploading this video, you can take the following actions to remove the copyright claim, which are to replace the song, mute it, or dispute it. If you want to learn more about any of these actions, I highly recommend watching this video, where we uploaded a video and added a copyright song on purpose just to show you what happens. Also, bear in mind that while you do have some flexibility with copyright music, when it comes to copyright video footage, then you're just gonna have to remove that entire section of a video. And it's probably best if you just re-upload the video from scratch. But at least you know that before you publish the video. Now, if you monetize your video, YouTube will perform a second check to ensure that it follows all of the ad-friendly guidelines. You can also self-certify your content by answering the questions on the ad suitability section of the upload process. As you might have guessed, we've done a full tutorial of this screen as well. YouTube will run the checks for ad suitabilities and it may take a little longer than the copyright checks, but again, it will let you know what's happened before you unleash that video to the public. And so here we have yet another reason why you should never publish your YouTube videos as soon as you upload them. First of all, you want to give YouTube the time to process your videos so that your viewers can enjoy them in the highest quality possible. You should always give yourself time to optimize the video, especially the thumbnail, especially the title. Yes, the description, also those interactive cards and end screens. And now YouTube can check your videos for copyright claims as well as any issues with ad-friendly guidelines so that your revenue is not hit when the video goes live. With all of that being said then, our general recommendation is that unless your video is super time sensitive and you need to release it now, you should give yourself at least two hours between upload and publishing. Now, I do want to give YouTube credit for an excellent explainer video on this topic. Check it out over here. If you want to learn more about the difference between a copyright claim and a copyright strike, we've got a video down there. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully this will help you with your YouTube day. Bye for now.